guys, welcome to my channel. Today it is DIY project time. I bought this pull-up bar at Cathlon a couple of weeks ago, and today I'm going to try to put it up and see if it was worth the about 25 euros that I spent on it. I also bought a couple of other little like conditioning and strengthening gadgets, so we're gonna give everything a try today and see what was worth it, what doesn't work as well. So we're gonna start with the pull-up bar. This should be really interesting because I am not good at home improvement. I learned this when I tried to put up a bookshelf last year and it ended up taking like 45 screws and it was not even. I hope I don't end up with a hole in my wall. Or like, I, obviously I do need a hole in my wall, but like a giant, massive, crumbling hole. That would be bad. I chose this one because it can go like inside the door frame, which I like and I thought was a better bet because my door frames are old. I thought it would be easier to have something that can expand to kind of fit your door frame instead of trying to find something that exactly fits over my antique door frames. I also like this one because it was very affordable. It was about 25 euros and it has the feel of, it's got some texture to it that is not unlike a hoop. So I would like to be able to do foot hangs and like heel hangs and train those without having to put up my full hoop in here. I don't know if that's going to happen. My neighbors must get such a good show. Like, it must be really, really exciting and confusing to be my neighbor. Anyway, let's get started with this one and then we'll move on. So we're going to also try this little um, squeezy hand thing that is supposed to increase your grip strength. I also bought a rolling ab exercise gadget. I haven't really tried any of these before. I've never even had a pull-up bar before. So let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna open this up. Apparently the wall hanging equipment is inside this little envelope and I really hope there are screws because if there's not screws, I might have to do this a different day. I'm not sure I have screws of the right sort of strength for this kind of project. Ah. No! Roll back towards me, roll back towards me. All right, I've recovered all the parts. There are screws, that is good. And there are these little plastic bits. So I think what you do is you put this, the screw through this plastic bit and then the plastic bit stays on the wall and then that's what you hook the bar onto. So that seems fairly straightforward. What I'm worried about is how do I screw this into the wall in a safe manner? Let's read the instructions and, and maybe they have some guidelines. These instructions seem, they're not really saying anything about how to install the screws. They're just saying safety tips. I would like to point out that the name of this company is Core Rink like core length. I mean, yeah, this says things like use product indoors on a flat, dry surface. Not super helpful. I'm hoping that these little screws are not really supporting your weight. I'm hoping that it's more of a, like the bar extends and the pressure of the bar is more what supports your weight than these little screws because this isn't really a thing. Okay, I've measured 14 centimeters down from the top of the door frame on each side. It does say to use a level in the instructions, but I do not have a level. So I'm just gonna hope that the door is flat on the top. It, it looks like they're the same height and I think I feel confident enough doing it that way. I've intentionally made my mark closer to this side of the door so that when I pull up, my head will not hit the top of the door frame. Made a great big mess drilling holes in the wall. The little thing is installed. I had to do two holes because I messed up the first one. <laughs> so I've actually moved it to 16 centimeters down. I've used these little metal um, screw holders just to give it some extra protection in the wall and then put the plastic on with these. So I think that's gonna be slightly stronger. However, I am a little bit nervous about my installation job because as I said, I am not skilled at this kind of thing. This is maybe not gonna be a going upside down situation. This is maybe gonna stay a pull ups and leg lifts right side up only kind of situation. Let's see if 
I've managed to make this anywhere close to even. So I think what you have to do is put the two ends of the bar over the little bits. Let me screw it. There we go. And then I'm going to screw them out. Oh, I can turn the middle of the bar. That's much easier. Is that good? I don't know. I don't know about this. Like, I understand the concept, but I'm just worried about the whole like theory of how to install it. This all seems a little bit like sketch. And to be honest, also, I'm a bit worried about my doorway. Do you have studs on the edges of the doorway? When I use my pole, I have a pressure pole, so it's the same concept, but it was very important to find uh, studs and beams in the ceiling to support it. And with this, like, I have not done that, and I can already see my paint cracking a bit, and I do not feel good about this. I feel very sketchy about this. Let's try a pull-up. I'll put the little lock on. This is just mildly terrifying. It doesn't feel like it's moving. It doesn't feel unsafe, but I do not feel good about this. And especially I'll show you, like there's already paint cracks in my wall. I'm thinking maybe it would have been a better choice to get the one that hooks over like this, the top of the door. I don't like what this is doing to my walls. Fortunately, I was planning to paint my living room. <laughs> That's why I chose to do this now, because I knew if I messed up the installation, I could cover it. Yeah, you can see already like this crack. That's the first hole that I did that I messed up and I had to redo. But like this is happening already. And this, I think this is, this was not there a few minutes ago. So I think this is from the pressure as well. Okay, next item is this little hand strength conditioning thing. It's just made out of rubber and it's quite firm. It's not so firm that I can't like close it a bit, but it is difficult to do that. And I think I have stronger hands than most people. So I, I imagine if you are just starting out with your hand strength, it would be quite a challenge. Um, I'm just gonna pop this off. Cool. It was about three euros. And so let's just do some reps and uh, I'll see how many it takes before I start to really feel a burn. I've done probably about 40 reps now and I'm starting to feel it all the way up into here. It's definitely the feeling you get when you are at the end of aerial class and you're tired and you've been holding on to the hoop or the silks or the pole or whatever for a long time. Yeah, I'm reaching the limit of what I can do. Probably about 50 is really burning me. Let's try the other hand. That is a lot. I really feel a good burn. Not only in my hand and my fingers, obviously I feel that, but like all the way up in my forearm, which is really where a lot of your grip strength lives. So I really like that. That was well worth three euros. I'm quite happy with that one. So let's finish up with this um, ab and shoulder strength uh, roller. So let's try it out. And I also have an idea of maybe how to use it for my legs as well. There's a little bit of assembly required in this. So I've got this little, this bit that I think is the bit that goes through the middle. Handles and these two bits that seem to face each other to be the wheel. Um, okay, that was very simple. That's nice too, because I guess you could disassemble this if you were packing it to go in a bag, to go to a theater, to go to a show. I'm going to put a pillow under my knees and let's see. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to go out like all the way to a plank? Ooh, that's hard. I am feeling it a little bit in my back. I feel like this would not be great if you are particularly sway backed or have like back problems. I just want to see what would happen if I try it with my feet. Cause I feel like that could be a really good like leg 
Oh, it's hard to balance. Oh, yeah, I like that. Good um, hamstring work. I can feel my hamstrings starting to burn. Let's try a few more to the front. There may be some sort of like proper form thing to this where you have to like push your hips down first. Actually, that was a little bit better. I kind of did my hips earlier. Yeah, if I think about my hips more than my shoulders and arms, I feel it more in my abs and less in my back. But in general, I feel like this is pretty good. It does what it says. I'm feeling an ab workout. I just keep doing this like a toy. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's worth 10 euros. I definitely would not recommend it if you have any sort of back issues. If you want something that's a little bit of fun, I really like that leg exercise on it as well. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll just finish up with my uh, little elastic band. This is not a new piece of equipment. I've been using this for a while, but if you're going for like these little gadgets that help you work out at home or if you're traveling or whatever, this is my favorite. You learn a few exercises on it and you can get a lot of your upper body, a lot of your uh, torso. You can work your legs with it. Like you really can do a lot with these little elastic bands. I have a video on my channel where my friend Kaylee who is amazing she takes me and like also you guys through a lot of different exercises you can do with the band in that video so I will link that in the description and at the top of your screen you can use any elastic band mine has these um, loops for wrist and ankles but you can also use like the TheraBands that you just hold I think this was 15 euros it's lightweight it's easy to transport it's great for doing a lot of different exercises like you really can't beat this well, I guess that's it for today. I've tried my equipment. I really like the hand strengthener thing. I really like the rolly ab workout. I did not enjoy <laughs> the pull-up bar. I don't think I'm gonna use it again. Maybe I can find some sort of use for it, like hanging clothes or something. But I do not enjoy the nervousness it makes me feel about what it's gonna do to my walls and installing it maybe because of my lack of skills but i did not enjoy that process and i don't think it's a good installation system maybe there's like a trick to it that i don't know but i am not into it as i understood the concept maybe there'll be a part two to this video where i get like one of those hook ones that you can hook over the top of the door frame. If you guys have a pull-up bar system that you like that works well, then please let me know. I would like to know about that. I guess that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do all sorts of aerial videos. I do tutorials every Wednesday, and I do broader subject things like this every Saturday. And there's a lot of exciting things coming up. While we're doing the commercials, I will also plug that I do online uh, Zoom one-on-one -on -one private classes with you or you and one or two friends. If you're interested in that, let me know um, here or on Instagram. My Instagram is linked in the description. Subscribe and stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.